Hi, this is John Lockwood from John Next Door, and this video tutorial is about using the new mini champagne bottle. And the champagne bottle is an exact 50% reduction from the original champagne bottle dye. However, this has been shrunk down and added a few extra pieces to it. So you've got the champagne bottle, which you can use for a champagne bottle, wine bottle, beer bottle, whatever you can think of. And you've still got the cork, the label, the label, the stars, the glass, the top, the section for the glass. You've also got the deluxe, but you've also got a few new words here. You've got pop, bubbly and fizz, which you can see on the card at the beginning of the video have been used to punch in those words. But for this video tutorial, I'm going to do a simple one and show you how to make a card for sort of a 10th birthday where we've actually got 10 bottles hanging on a wall. So all I need to do, I've got a piece of card here and this is a piece of white Crafts 2 linen card. I folded it in half at one and three quarter inches. I'm going to take the die and I'm just going to hang over the end section on the left. So I'm just going to tape it down and I'll turn it over so I can show you. But if you can see there, the end section is overhanging so that it won't cut. And what we're going to do, I'm just going to run that through my die cutting machine and that will give me a bottle with the die cut folded over. So we'll run that one through. While that's going through, I'm going to do for the front. So I've already cut, using the die as a solid piece, a bottle in green, because you've got to have 10 green bottles, and the label pieces in the gold cross to linen card. I'm just going to use my glue glaze as a quick grab and I'm going to put the label on. And we'll put the label on in the center. I've already glued the little black ring. You also get the little star insert if you want to use that one on this neck label here. And again, you could pump type any of the words into there. So you could have pop going into it or fizz. There we go. And then I'm going to pop the cork on. So again, I've just cut the cork with the gold glitter card with the die in the set. And it's probably a little bit hard to see on the glitter card, but it does emboss all the lines in that you'd have where the neck of the bottle is, all the little sort of fold and scrunched up pieces. So we've made ourselves a little bottle. And as this is for 10 bottles and for a 10th birthday, just using my bold numbers die, I've cut out the number 10. You could also use the festive numbers for this as well, if you've got those or any number dies that you've got. So we're going to go one and zero. And I think this is great for kids' cards or for men's cards or for celebrations of anything, christenings, anniversaries, all sorts of things. So there's our front done. I'm going to go back to my die cutting machine and take out the piece that I've just cut. And if we can see here, if I just gently ease that off, remove the tape, take it off the bottom, Always find these dies, when they're a bit quite fine, they can rip the tape. So you sometimes need to just release the tape off and take any adhesive off using a glue eraser. So what I've got then is a bottle that opens and closes. So if I wanted a little card or an invitation, great for a wedding or baby shower invitation, I could just put that on the front and there's my little opening card. But for this, we're going to do 10 of them. So I've already cut this and glued them together so that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bottles. This last fold will give me 10. So I'm going to put glue onto the front of the, of the bottle on one side. And I'm just gonna marry up, making sure I get the top right, the bottle from the last fold. And this is all I've done each time I want to add the bottle on. So then I've got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's my ten bottles all in a row. I'm just going to then take my front piece and again glue this on to the front. And I could cut this for every single bottle inside. So we could do a countdown or anything and I could have them all in a row. But then I've got, make sure I actually glue that properly. I'll give that a good better press down. There we go, just make sure that's stuck on, slide it around. There we go, uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
And for some reason, I've got an extra bottle hanging on that one. I don't know why. But we'll just glue that on. There we go. <coughs> so then I've got my bottles all stood up in a row. Or I could go around circular. But I've got the flip card then. And you could put different bottles and different messages, different labels and all sorts inside there just to give you your 10 bottles in a row. And that's a simple card made using the small champagne bottle. For more ideas, hints, tips and inspiration, why not join me on Facebook on the John Lockwood page or the Jen Next Door page? Or why not join the Crafting with John Next Door share group? where lots of people share their hints, tips, advice and inspiration for everyone to use. Mm -hmm.